So I've teamed up with Best Buy Canada to unbox and talk about the features of the ASUS ROG Strix G15. This is a gaming laptop. It retails for about $1,000 US or $1,400 here in Canada. This is an actual retail unit. So if you were to go to the store and buy it, you're gonna have a very similar experience. Now in the box, you obviously get the laptop, a 150 watt power brick, with the ASUS ROG logo on the back. Paperwork, which we don't care about. And nothing in this box. Now this laptop weighs five pounds, so it's not super heavy and acceptable to travel with. It's not made out of metal, but it is using a nice hard plastic. ASUS did a good job in terms of construction. I like the faux brushed aluminum lines. It gives the laptop a sense of style, makes it look a bit classy. The laptop's not too thick, but it's thick enough to allow for good airflow. Ports, on the left-hand side, you have three USB ports and an audio jack, plus a place for your speaker. The right side is completely left blank. The rest of the ports are on the back of the laptop. Now I'm a fan of this because if you have this placed on your desk, all your cables are gonna be nice and tidy behind the laptop. You have an RJ45 port, HDMI, USB Type-C, this is not Thunderbolt 3, and a place to connect your power adapter. The big feature about this laptop is actually this little white border on the bottom of the laptop. This lights up and you can change it to any color you want. You can open up the laptop with one hand as long as you go nice and slow or the bottom will come up with it. You have good spacing between the keys, super comfortable to type on, very good travel distance and actuation. You have separate page up and page down keys, but you don't have a numerical keypad, multimedia keys at the top and RGB. Now it doesn't have per key RGB. Whatever color you choose in ASUS's Armory Crate will change the entire color on the laptop. You do have these WASD keys that are transparent, so it lets the colors shine through. I just I just like the look of the RGB on the bottom. It's very different. It kind of like spills out of the laptop to give kind of like a glowing effect. Touchpad on the bottom, it's spaced in the center, so good symmetry. It has pretty good accuracy, and instead of being one size with one click, you have two separate buttons on the bottom. Now this display, doesn't go all the way 180 degrees, but it goes back enough. It is an IPS panel. It's 144 Hertz, which is good to see because usually most laptops under $1,000 start with 60 Hertz panels. So this one's coming with 144 Hertz right out of the box. Now this laptop does not have a webcam. So if that's important to you, you're gonna have to buy one separately. Now this unit comes with a 10th gen Intel processor. It's an i7 and you pair it with 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD and a GTX 1650 Ti. This type of setup will get you gaming at 1080p with settings set between medium and high. I tested a few games, everything was running nice and smooth. You can play all the newest titles comfortably. Just depending on how graphically intensive it is, you might have to drop it down from high to medium. Getting inside is easy. Just note that you have these ribbon cables attached to the motherboard of the laptop. So when you take off the back lid, don't rip it off, do it slowly and then obviously unattached the cables. Internally, we got a lot going on, okay? We have a small battery, it's 47 watt hours. We have a two heat pipe, two fan cooling solution on the opposite ends, which is always a good thing. Two slots for RAM. This one has 16 gigabytes. It's in single channel configuration. So I'd probably go out and buy a second stick to put this in dual channel. You have one slot that's filled with your SSD and you have two extra slots for two more PCIe SSD. So potentially this laptop can have up to three storage drives. So what do you guys think? I personally think this laptop looks very unique. Having the RGB on the bottom, the Aura Glow spilling onto your desk could offer a very unique look for your desk setup. I think it adds character in certain spaces. As usual, I want you to drop your questions in the comment section down below so that I can answer them in my full review. Plus, if you wanna buy this laptop, I'll place links to Best Buy in the description. And even if you don't want a gaming laptop, they got stuff for productivity and creativity. Basically, Best Buy has you covered. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.